Hi, Timothy Jordan here again, now with Nicole Limtiaco. She's a software engineer on machine learning at Google. Hi, Nicole. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Happy to be a Grace Hopper. I am too. It is so cool. Yeah. So uh, you work on machine learning, and machine learning is huge at Grace Hopper this year. Yes. AI is huge in general. AI yeah. is huge in general. Uh, we, we heard Fei Fei's uh, keynote mm -hmm. day one, and that was like incredibly inspiring to hear her story and really talk about uh, bias in ML and how we have to pay attention to it. I found that really fascinating. Mm -hmm. What are some themes that you see sort of repeating that, are, that feel kind of new? Well, at least the theme that I've been sort of tracking on is this idea of social good in AI. Mm. So whether that's like being socially conscious within AI technologies or using AI technologies to do social good in the world, it's like a huge thing. I've been to tons of social good sessions now and like it's just really great to see that we're putting our skills to something that's like really useful. What is it that you're most excited about in machine learning right now? So I get really excited about this idea of being able to do model knowledge transfer across models. So like, can we take a model, say a language model, that's sort of what I do, I'm a natural language uh, person in my work, can we take information that we've done uh, in one model and try to use that information to learn a totally different task or a totally different domain? Mm. Um, or even make one very, very large model that knows a really generic representation of language and adapt that into a more, into a finer grain task, for example. That is so cool. I think what, one of the things that excites me the most about machine learning and AI in general is what we can learn about ourselves from mm -hmm. doing it, which is like what cognitive science yeah, is all about, yeah. right? Like building these definitely, models so that definitely. we can learn about. And this is one of those things where it's like, how do we sort of visually recognize things as human and then something new comes in, mm -hmm. and we recognize that as well without right. having a previous example. Yeah, absolutely. Like there are tons of experiments where they show that like humans only need to be shown like one example of a word in the context, and they get like this idea of what it means sort of immediately. Um, and so that would be great if we could have our models do that. But I don't think we're quite there yet. But we're <laughs> working really hard on it. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Yeah, absolutely. All right, I so love talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do that. We're gonna go and geek out about ML some more. You guys watch some more videos. All right, we'll see you later. Thanks for tuning in to one of our developer show segments from somewhere in the world. If you'd like to catch some of our prior episodes, check them out right over here.